Hi, and welcome to District Dialogue. We've got an awesome show for you today. I'm Commissioner Henry Mitchell from District 1, and today's show, it's all about SPLOST. And I guess everybody probably would be asking, what is SPLOST? We'll talk to you about what SPLOST is, Special Purpose Local Option Sales Tax. That's what it is. However, it's that penny that when you go to the store and shop that you give to the county to do special projects, and we'll get into all the special projects. But now, I couldn't do this alone, so I, talk, I thought I'd just kind of ask a couple of colleagues of mine to come along and let them introduce themselves, and they'll tell you all about their roles and duties when it comes to SPLOST. So, from my left, I'll go around the room, and you guys okay. introduce yourselves and tell them your role on this BLAST project. So my name is Terry Gable. Mm -hmm. I'm with Moreland Altabelli. Uh, we are the consultants that's been hired by the county to manage the program overall, manage the funds, uh, the revenues, and, and just facilitate the projects as they get ready for bid and ready to let out. That's, that's my primary role. Okay, Terry, that's that we got Terry. Awesome. Uh, my name is David Good, and I'm with this uh, SPLOS program. I'm the actually the communications director for SPLOS. I make sure I talk to the public, talk to the stakeholders, and also talk to the board of commissioners right. about what's going on and the information that I'm giving. Then I get feedback to both the consultants and to the elected officials. Got it. Last but not least. I'm Jay Nix. I'm with <laughs> Motorola Communications and Motorola Solutions, and I'm the senior project manager for the new radio system for Douglas County. Mm -hmm. Uh, P25 radio system, and um, I'm, I'm the project manager over the entire project. Got it. So let, let's start in the beginning so everybody can understand exactly what we're talking about and what it's all about. What is SPLOST? Um, so it's, it's a, it's a six-year program mm -hmm. that the, the citizens voted on uh, back in 2016. went into effect in 2017. Mm -hmm. um, we're in the third year of it. Um, the, the projected uh, budget for the overall program for the projects was right at $100 million. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Good news is for the last 14 months, uh, we have been above projections on our revenues, so citizens, please keep spending your money in Douglas. Yes. And that just helps. Shop Douglas. Helps everything. <laughs> yes. Right. Um, so we've been averaging about $2.2 million a month. So hopefully the things, the economy stay up and we'll keep them. Got the it. revenues coming in. And, and can somebody talk about, I don't know who want to chime in, we've got several, uh, not projects, categories that breaks out the SPLOST dollars. I don't know if you guys off the top of your head remember, I know. Um, so real quick, yes, yeah, the, they were broken down in three categories. Mm -hmm. It was fire and EMS, mm -hmm. um, transportation, mm -hmm. and, and then the parks. parks. That's parks correct, department. that's correct. And I don't know you know the percentages, like I know parks was 17. Parks 17, fire was 32, and. 70% uh, of the 100 plus million of the hundred, right. Yes, of the 100 million, and okay. then transportation was 51. That's correct, and and that's the break. That's the breakout, so the general public can understand kind of the, the the categories. And within the categories, there are projects within the categories. Correct. Uh, you want to chime in about any other categories that I mean, uh, such as well, one of them, uh, radio is definitely with our fire EMS. Yes. Uh, we also have all the different uh, procurements that comes out of so. And speaking of the fire EMS, we co completed a project, a renovation piece, a fire station number. Fire station number three. three. That's I correct. mean, not too long ago, we did have a um, open house ribbon cutting mm -hmm. for fire station number three, which is locally called the Bill Art Fire Station. Correct. So we're able to uh, bring that online, um, and that's actually part of one of the categories, which is renovations. Mm -hmm. So we've done some renovation projects to fire station number two, mm -hmm. fire station number four, mm -hmm. and then just some some ancillary things just for whatever chief needs um, going further for uh, other fire stations. Now do keep in mind, there's, there's road projects that are out there. There's Parks and Rec with the Senior Citizen Center. There's um, the Boundary Waters, uh, nice community center, that will be built. Right. Um, in fact, we just finished on doing the ribbon cutting for the uh, for the uh, concession stand over correct. at um, Boundary right. Waters, which was a part of Splost. Correct. So, correct. so when you walk, when you're driving around, and speaking to the citizens of Douglas County, when you're driving around, you see the signage. You actually have signage up that talks about these various projects, where they are, where your Splost dollars are being or penny is being spent. All right. right. Yep. We were tr you're trying to emphasize them and identify them to the public so they know. Got it. Uh, even that, as far as the equipment, the, the fire trucks, yes. ambulances, those also have signs yes. on those. Yes, yes. And we'll talk about a lot more of this here, but let's move on down and talk a little bit more about the, the one thing that I had a, a chance to be a part of in years past. It was called Wars when we was at the city, when I was a mayor pro tem at the city of Douglasville. Now this project has become a city, I mean, excuse me, a county project that encompasses the city and everybody else when it comes to the radio system. Talk to us, Jay, about that radio system that we spent roughly 
It's about fourteen point nine million dollars. Okay, okay. It's a little bit over fourteen point nine. Um, basically, um, the master site is located in Cobb County, mm -hmm. and so um, the Douglas system is. We a teamed up with those guys, so right, right, okay, all so right. So you okay. team. So Douglas County decided to team up and worked with Cobb County, correct, Forsyth, mm -hmm. Cherokee, and Bartow. Mm -hmm. So they're tying into one system. Mm -hmm. Um, for interoperability and, and backup and support, both from fire, EMS, and, and uh, law enforcement. Mm -hmm. um, but um, Douglas County system is a nine-site simulcast system that'll be tied back into the core. Mm -hmm. And um, right now, currently, we uh, have constructed eight of those nine sites and um, currently working with the uh, State Historical Preservation Office just to uh, get approval for the ninth tower. We already have the FAA. Uh, we're working through um, uh, the historical stuff, and so we we'll hope to get started on that very soon. And then that'll that'll lead us into um, uh, from there um, finishing up the installation of the of the fixed end equipment, mm -hmm. which all of it's been installed at every one of the towers that are currently mm -hmm. uh, constructed, mm -hmm. um, and the DC plants as well for power and generation and so forth. And then um, from there we'll go into the optimization of the system. Got it. We'll optimize and it'll take probably a week and a half, two weeks to completely optimize the entire mm -hmm. communication system, mm -hmm. tied back into the core. And um, uh, then once that is completed, uh, then we will we'll start the coverage testing and the training of, of the uh, console operators and also the users. Talk to us about how, how much coverage and we are we anticipating uh, for law enforcement or, or just in communications period I mean there's a there's a, a percentage that we're looking forward to right we, in this whole we system. have contracted um, with Douglas County to provide 95 percent coverage mm -hmm. of the entire county and um, there's some certain specifications I won't go into but uh, yeah. the 95 percent coverage of the county and the city hopefully we get 100 but 95 it, right. yeah is a reasonable goal well, you know? right and, and uh, for those, I mean, that let, let's say we don't get to that that hundred percent. What are we going to do? Some microwaves or some other transmitters? Well, we feel good or? about the coverage. The problem. Okay. That, so the microwave actually is our uh, focal point of networking each site together. Okay. So there will be microwave on each tower. There's actually two paths mm -hmm. on each tower, and it's create it creates a ring or mm -hmm. a loop mm -hmm. microwave system for redundancy. Mm -hmm. Um, and um, and so that is connectivity. Um, as far as um, not making coverage, I don't think it's an option. But the ninety-five percent is is what we're all striving for is ninety-five percent coverage. So, where are some of the towers located? Okay, um, we've got uh, three towers located at three different fire stations mm -hmm. in the county: Fire Five, Fire Eight, Fire Eleven. We've got another one at Bill Arp, mm -hmm. um, and then so we've got. And Get a yeah, chance to have a that. Exactly. Okay. <laughs> and then there was an existing tower that the city of Douglasville uh, currently owns, which That's is correct. downtown Downs. Spring Street. Yes. Mm -hmm. um, we're building a new tower for the city and the county. Mm -hmm. um, it's actually located at the corner of School Shoals Road and, and uh, Fairburn Road, the corner mm -hmm. of that. Mm -hmm. um, we have one at Austell Gas mm -hmm. off Bowden Street and 78. Mm -hmm. And we're making use of a Fulton County Fire 13 tower, which is actually located at Plummer Road and Fulton Industrial. Wow, wow. So, and then there's, um, I, I think it's pretty much covers it and, and, there. And, and, and this coverage should definitely cover the county, but they'll be able to speak to, talk to any other law enforcement because of the combination of connecting with Cobb system that can go up and down all the way from Alabama, I guess, to down to 22 Atlanta, crossing Atlanta. Well, I guess. We're, we're guaranteeing the coverage for Douglas County. Understood. Understood. But, but it does allow you to have the opportunity to um, work with the Cobb agencies, the Cherokee, the Bartow, mm -hmm. so forth, Other and, and, also, and also the radios. Yeah. Uh, I know that the uh, the chiefs and the sheriff's office, fire chiefs and sheriff's office, are actually negotiating also with wars to be able to add on that system as right, well right so that they can talk it through to Carrollton and so forth so how was it mind. working with the city of Douglasville and pulling this off everything's been very well beautiful beautiful very okay high. okay let's shift gears let's let's talk about uh, there's four major projects that are out there one of which is the um, the towers mm -hmm. and the, the communications piece what what about the senior citizen center let's start there and then let's e evolve into the other projects 
So look, all right, so that's uh, let's talk <coughs> about the parks department. Okay, the so parks department. This is it the category. Seventeen percent is what okay. they, uh, the county decided to put into the parks. Mm -hmm. uh, two of their larger projects, largest projects. Um, one is the senior center mm -hmm. in Lithia Springs. Mm -hmm. um, it's uh, it's currently under design mm -hmm. and should be wrapping up this month. So. Uh, what can they expect in the in the in the building? What what um, what, what the seniors can look forward to? So this will be um, this senior center will offer some of the same um, benefits as the senior the senior center here uh, Woody Fight in Douglas now, with program rooms, um, computer rooms. But we want to step further with this senior center when we added um, a, a pickleball court, mm -hmm. an indoor pickleball court, mm -hmm. and also a, a, a pool. Mm -hmm. So we've getting a lot of lot of comments, and one thing I, I'd like to say with as far as that goes, uh, the county did a very good job of reaching out to the public. Right. We had several meetings Correct. leading up to the final design, Correct. and we got comments. So it, it you know we feel like we do have a good footprint of what the county citizens are wanting for the for senior center. Mm -hmm. um, again, a large project, but it should be the design should be wrapping up uh, this month, as I said, and it'll be about a year to construct. So we're looking at. Um, July of next year, that we um, should, that the seniors should be able to walk in or ribbon cutting and saying, yep. "Welcome to the Lithia Spring Senior Citizen Center." Right, and then the other is the right. uh, in parks is the uh, Boundary Waters Rec Center, and I'll let right. David can just kind of describe some of the highlights of it. Right, right Mr. And, Good. Um, that one building is about twenty five thousand square feet, uh -huh. so therefore, when you walk in, you'll be able to walk in and actually look up and see people working out. Mm -hmm. So you want to give them that feel of, hey, you walk into open space oh, yes. and you see something that you really want to do. Mm -hmm. And then there's also two basketball courts. So when you walk in, there's a basketball court. So if there's any programming going on, mm -hmm. age groups could actually use both sides of the um, basketball court. Got and it. then there's also a community uh, room. Mm -hmm. So anytime people want to do, people always want to do like different type of events. Mm -hmm. And they'll mm -hmm. have a room where they can actually mm -hmm. do those um, things in. And of course, definitely it's two stories. Mm -hmm. And with the equipment upstairs, you will really be able to get that feel of, hey, I could go here, work out, then I could walk around the indoor track. Understood. Because there's an indoor, uh, elevated Elevate. indoor track. And the way you get upstairs is an elevator, so it is ADA compliant. That's correct. Talk about <clears> when we, <throat> I know Parks and Rec uh, Committee, whom, which I chair, we went through several designs or, or options, I guess I'll call it, uh, right. A, B, and C, and we came, we went middle of the road and decided to go middle of the road that we can add the additional piece and get to three, or the Correct. Cadillac version as we call it. Talk about that whole process and kind of where we ended up and kind of the dollars and cents for that project and how it can become, uh, I guess that will be that third or, you know, Cadillac version. Well, uh, one of the things I really want the public to know is that, first of all, the you know you have the three categories. Right. Well, the one that's called the gold, which would be the top of the line, mm -hmm. that was what was expected in the beginning based upon what numbers were then or what the budget could be. Right. Then as we saw, as prices went up, right. that means that you could no longer afford the gold project at that budget. So therefore, we did not want to go- Without losing other projects down Correct. the road. So we want right. to be considerate to the other projects down the road. So. Correct. So what yeah. happened was that you couldn't go with the base because no, one, it wasn't ADA compliant. That's correct. And it was nowhere near what the citizens even talked about what they right. wanted. So instead we went to so the middle of the road. We paid attention to their requests. We paid attention to what, their need, what the needs are and looked at the dollars that we had to spend mm -hmm. and tried to find that sweet spot in the middle. Correct. Yeah. And so since we were able to do that, that means now the footprint will has enough to make it go to the gold is sometime in the future yes. but right now well that's we how we're building it if i'm not mistaken we're correct. building it to to say when we want to add to it we can right. correct you know, now that may come out of the general funds or we may get an additional splotch that may come around and, and, and kind of grow it but right now it's designed in the middle correct okay. so therefore you'll be able to get it done i believe it's coming in uh, what is it about close to eight million, eight million. yeah yes right now. Mm -hmm. it's coming in as a total of that and and the tower that we put in in bill Arp, Yes, sir. Um, it's how high, how... It's a 300-foot self-supporter okay. Okay. tower, and we um, we built it uh, kind of adjacent to where those uh, older uh, tennis courts were located at yes. the top, right. the, above the football field. Right, right. right. The, but the, we didn't take out the tennis courts, did we? No, not? sir. Okay, no. okay. I didn't think no, so. Sir. It's just in that area, in that general it's, area. It's kind of adjacent to that, but above Got the it. football field right there. Got it. And that, and that tower will cover, I'm assuming, that, that side of town or... Yes, sir. They're they're all set up for um, um, 
saturated coverage for the areas that they're they're being constructed in. Okay. But all of them be tied together, and so right. they'll the all entire, get in the loop. Yes, sir. And but the, and the whole system, radio-wise, will be tied in and simulcast. So um, you will have the interoperability between um, the sheriff's office, the police department for the city of Douglasville, mm -hmm. the fire department. Mm -hmm. You know, other agencies coming in. Yes. Mm -hmm. So any any kind of flooding or uh -huh. mm -hmm. yeah, huge mm -hmm. storms or something that's mm -hmm. happened in the past. So. Got it. And 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 on these towers. And I know we're just bouncing around, guys. Just bear with me. On, the, on these towers, uh, will, <coughs> will we strictly be law enforcement slash uh, fire EMS, or would it be uh, amenable a possibility that we could get some of these towers to be added on? To me, uh, um, a cell, a cellular company of some sort may want to jump on. And, okay, so um, okay. all of the towers we we've, we've got a future low uh, capacities built into the towers. Got it. Not only for the county, mm -hmm. but also um, for carriers as well. Uh -huh. So, um, so you do are, have the capabilities. Got if you do, it. If That's the county wants to take advantage of that, they can. Right. Got That's it. Awesome. Good, good stuff. Good stuff. Okay. All right. Good stuff. Uh, anything? Uh, we're gonna. I'm uh, gonna go into the last and final project. But anything else to add to the projects in reference to the, the, those BLAS dollars? Um, no, Parks and Recs, I think we've covered two major projects. We've got yes. some, uh, you know, concession buildings going right, right, on, right, right. some smaller things, but yes, uh, yes. they got a lot of, lot of improvements to do in parks. Right, 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 right. Um, well, we, we, we're going to spend that 17% mm -hmm. for yes. sure. That's yes, for definitely. sure. Budget yes. it out. Yes. Uh, let's talk about the other big project that's that's a uh, part of SPLOST, and that's the Lee Road project. Yeah, it's, so Lee Road is, was identified years ago as a major, yes. a major route in the county. Mm -hmm obviously and uh, the section that was identified at that time was from I-20 down to 92. Mm -hmm. um, fortunately, you know, the project started out 10 years ago. We, uh, Douglas partnered with GDOT uh, to widen the road at that time. Um, you know, the t economy struggled through the years. Mm -hmm. uh, it got shelved. Yes. And then another good reason for this current splot. You know, the county was able to go back, find mm -hmm. some additional funds. Mm -hmm. Uh, we're in the process now of updating the plans uh -huh. and hopefully get it back on the street uh, towards the end of 2020. Mm -hmm. uh, but that's a full-blown widening project. Mm -hmm. um, what we were able to do uh, as part of the SPLOS to uh, extend the life of the road was we did, we did resurface it this year. Mm -hmm. It just got resurfaced about a month ago. It was in terrible shape. The yes. condition yes. of it had gotten pretty bad. Even though we're going to widen it, I know it's kind of like, why would you do it twice? You know, yeah. it kind of like seems silly, but it, the world was in it just that bad that of shape. bad, yes. yes. They yeah, just cool. could not that, wait. Right. Uh, we couldn't wait any longer. But a major project, a great project for the county transportation-wise, mm -hmm. uh, opened up that corridor, uh, I'm sure, for whatever development, whether it be residential or, or commercial. Absolutely, absolutely. But a, a good, great project. But, but that's the start of going the opposite side, uh, which will go through District 1, Lithia Springs and, and up Correct. to uh, 78 and so on. So that's, mm -hmm. I, I mean, it only makes sense, you know, to kind of to do this project. Right. Even, yeah, though, think, even though we had some unique moments about trying to get there, you right. know, because the cost went astronomically high based on when we had the project somewhat let to where it is today because construction costs kind of took a huge I mean, spike. Spike. Mm -hmm. um, it's just amazing, like with everything else, mm -hmm. codes changed, environment, yes. environmental codes changed. Yes. And you get caught in that lag and then, mm -hmm. and then you know, everybody's got, GDOT's got their own budget and they, they move mm -hmm. money around, but mm -hmm. hopefully mm -hmm. it's on track now. Uh, and one other thing I was going to mention is the county did spend the money <clears throat> to also do a, a, a study, a planning study for that whole area, mm -hmm. um, and you know, it's engulfing the the section that's that's under that we got under design. Yes, the north piece, and then the, the piece that'll that extend uh, in on new location on around uh, back yes. around I twenty. So all that's right. being looked at, mm -hmm. and yeah. of course, budget shall drive you what exactly improvements right. we can You're do. Right. So, so what's the what's the numbers we're dealing with with this particular project? So, so the general public will know the numbers. Um, the the project uh, that we started out talking about, the widening project, mm -hmm. is is in the range of twenty five million mm -hmm. um, total, mm -hmm. and that'll be a combination of uh, several different funding yes. resources. Mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. SPLOST is one of them, mm -hmm. fortunately, and um, uh, GDOT, and then the federal piece of it right. Uh, right. Is, is in there. Right, right. Yeah, we we got to pay our portion whatever that match is. Right. Yeah, so, right. okay, good. Um, wow, did we miss any projects, guys? I mean, I, I just, I, I know those are the four major projects that I want to make sure that we uh, remind our viewing audience about 
what's going on with their splashed penny and mm -hmm. how well we're doing and how we'll, you know, navigating this whole project list of what we're dealing with. I mean, we will find that the list, we may not get all the way down the list. Correct. Mm -hmm. However, uh, because of cost, because I mean, at one time we had the Senior Citizen Center and or Boundary Waters Community Center at a lower cost based on the mere fact of the dollars and cents that we were going to spend, but all of a sudden with the peak and, right. the, and, and the cost of construction and, and, and everything else and concrete right. and everything else, it became uh, a tough one. <laughs> Yep, and when we tr now we're having to track them all, small yes. or large, yes. uh, again, yes. to watch the overall <clears throat> list and the budget that's been set for each category. Yeah, because we want to make sure we try to get, we want to stretch that dollar. And, right, and as see. far as we can. Yes, uh, but again, the reality mm -hmm. of it is the cost of doing business has went up. Certainly, right. with a, a good economy. Yes, yes. Yeah. Got it. Construction goes up. Okay, And then, of right. course, you also have the resurfacing that, you know, yes. for the citizens, they can really see their pennies being spent That's because we have resurfacing throughout the county and of course in your district you know we did South, South Sweet Water Road right which is you know not too far it crosses over on Lee Road so therefore you have that whole entire area of a resurfacing project yes. so there you see now that. I'm going to throw you guys a little quick curveball uh, sidewalk project I know that's not one of the major projects <laughs> but talk about where we are on this sidewalk project that we have been dealing with for years now but I mm -hmm. think we're coming to a head now mm -hmm. as to We've got uh, the PE done on it, and, and it's laid out and ready to go and be let. We uh, do. So we've, okay. uh, as far as the splice list goes on the transportation, the county identified, mm -hmm. I think, about five locations mm -hmm. for sidewalks. Um, and all of them right now are within budget bit to get done. The three that we started on uh, and jumped out early on with, what were um, sidewalk at the Lithia That's Springs, yep. Elementary, Chestnut, Log, Middle, mm -hmm. and then the high school. Mm -hmm. Uh, New Man Manchester High School. There's, yeah, we did. We 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 struggled with it a little bit getting out of the well, gate. Well, because we tried to go local. We tried we to tried make sure to somebody. Could, I just thought, you know, silly right. me. I just thought you just pour a, a little concrete pad and let them walk on it and we're done. Yeah. But it became more than just that. Yes. <laughs> yeah. right. And you want to, these will be, uh, these will be very nice looking yes, at ADA yeah. compliant. It, there'll yes. be, everything was done. Uh, and, but when you get into that, you get into that design uh, phase of it. it, it does, it, uh, it does tend to, the, and, and we're looking at possibly some easements yes. that impacts on some properties that yes. are going to have to be addressed. Yes. Uh, I, but I, never I, thought we had to go through all of that. I, me, I, sidewalk. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. We thought we could just get somebody locally, come out there, you know, make the padding, pour the concrete and go and, you know, do 10 of them and we're done. Yep. Walk. So we'll see, we'll see some, the sidewalks will be under construction this year. We were hoping okay. earlier than the, in the I know, year. I know, But we'll, we'll, see, we'll see some sidewalk being put down this year um, and moving, you know, to finish up that list of, that was identified got originally. It. Got it, got it, yeah. okay, okay, well good. Because I know everybody's been asking, at least on my behalf, yeah. what's going on with the sidewalks? Sidewalk projects. Because uh, yeah. that project, at least two years plus. Yep. Correct. Yep. And it just, to me, it was just, why, that's, isn't that easy just Pour some concrete and lay it down and walk. <laughs> <laughs> no, Every Commissioner day. Mitchell, that's not how it's done. You got to go through, you know. But yeah, yeah. but we're, we're getting we're, we're getting there. We're getting there. So oh yeah, oh, we're, yeah. we're getting there. It'll be done. Um, okay. Any, any other projects? I mean, I, I mean, anything I'm missing that I don't want to throw you guys any more curveballs, but anything that we're missing that we can that might want to add and share with the general public about when it comes to SPLOS? Well, another thing I would add as far as transportation, mm -hmm. and David mentioned the resurfacing. We'll make sure that everybody realizes we're trying to we're trying to hit a, a, a few different categories. And the other one is intersections. Mm -hmm. The county's identified mm -hmm. five or six uh, major intersections mm -hmm. in the county that uh, we're currently working on. We're, mm -hmm. These are these are progressing in, in design phase and right away phase. We're getting two that's going to be bid out this summer mm -hmm. with possibly a third this, mm -hmm. uh, coming up in the fall. So they'll see all this going on. We have signs out. And we're um, buying equipment because there's an equipment list it, that it, you know, everybody's so, all, all three yeah. of those departments are getting new equipment of right. some sort. Right, right, right. Mm -hmm. So there's, there's a lot where that splash dollars are being spent sure. that don't that kind of sort of don't go, go don't go notice. That's, that's right. correct. Yeah. So and, it, and in fires, it's I've learned a lesson is just very expensive. They're yes. and you can't. The fire yes. department is just yes. an expensive. Uh, well worth the money, but it's, it's expensive. And it's well needed, so yes, that, sir. Uh, it's just not money just just spent. Right. Uh, any other closing comments that we want to kind of go around the room that we will go back to the, from the towers and the equipment to the savings? Because I think on the tower side of things, even though we 
I think we had up to 16 mil, I think it was, that we were dealing with, or 15 mil. I don't remember the it's, exact it's number. It was close to 16 mil. Okay. It's 16 that we, we, we somewhat may have a savings at where we're going thus far. It, it may become that we may bring something back to the uh, that side of the SPLOS dollar as a savings. And where you kind of, the dollar, because I guess you negotiate a great deal. <laughs> right. Well, okay. I mean, you know, overall, I think, I'm, I would say that uh, overall, um, it's been a great a pleasure to work with all of y'all uh -huh. and your support as well yes. in the, in the uh -huh. radio project yes. and all the other commissioners as well as the leads for all of your, your leadership for um, fire, SO, mm -hmm. PD, everybody's been very well worked with and, um, and helping speed up schedules, yes. that saves money mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. as well as, you know, um, making good decisions on where towers need to be located, you know, um, you y'all were responsible. Douglas County was responsible mm -hmm. for actually acquiring the sites, and mm -hmm. and y'all did a great job of doing that. Well, because so, we yeah. felt that was important to right. our public safety and others. Right. You know that they're safe. I right. mean, I don't want to see an officer out and, and radio back. It's and, very important. Yes, yeah. <laughs> and and then that unique situation where like, oh, what did you say? I didn't quite hear you. Just try it right. again. Really? That's true. Right. Not a good position to be in. Right. Uh, and, and their safety is as important as it is to the safety of the general public. Right. So. Well, that, that radio is that lifeline. So. Yes. yes. It's very important. And yes. we take it very serious. Yes. It's mission critical. So. Yes. Uh, and uh, like I said, uh, y'all have been, it's been a, a great win to work with y'all. Mm -hmm. We've really enjoyed doing that. And Good. And you guys have done an, an excellent job, so I must say, an excellent job of getting us there and getting this project done. But like I said, I remember back in my earlier days on, on city council and, you know, calling it wars at that time. Right. And, and just we, we couldn't seem to get it off the ground. It was right. always that sure. that we always one step behind and, you right. know, trying to get there. But now we're here and that's, that's going to be something really great for Douglas County. Absolutely. Yes. David, any other closing remarks that we'll we'll kind of wrap this thing up about SPLOST? I know we, you might want to talk about the, the up-to-the-minute SPLOST updates. How do we kind of inform and keep people informed outside of just doing this here? Oh, well, of course, you just mentioned the up, uh, the up-to-the-minute updates. So that's one of the ways we try to make sure we go to every commission district. Mm -hmm. um, the only one we haven't been to yet is on uh, Commission District 4, and that'll be our next spot. And then we'll start back all over again right. with one, two, three, and then four again right. and right. do that throughout the years of the SPLOS. Um, the, the other way of letting people know is right now if you're in this building, which is the courthouse, uh, we have um, features of both fire, um, of the senior center and also of the multi-purpose center yes, showing right. those designs and then actually yes. having uh, and they're out paperwork in everywhere. various other locations Correct. as well right. we have at the tax building. office yes we have them over at um at woody fight mm -hmm. uh, we have it over at the various different parks throughout the area right now uh, we uh, have them over at um i believe it's deer lick um, there'll be a deer lick today mm -hmm. and then right now they're at hunter park as okay. well and okay. then of course they're at the aquatic center right. at um in boundary waters so take a look at these projects and where they are and where they're going and what it will look like so you get Correct. a good idea of what we can expect. Right, and then they also would be able to see exactly what's going to be in them because they yes. can look at it and then they can always go online mm -hmm. and actually even see that the information correct. there as well. And that's one of the things we really want to push is mm -hmm. when you go online to 2016splots.com, you'll be able to see a GIS system map, map, map up of where you can see where all of the different projects are. If you want to see where roads are being resurfaced for SPLOS, you can look on there. You can see the different years from 2017 to 20, uh, currently 2019. Give that, give that website again. I miss 2016splos.com. Again, www.2016splos.com. And you also can reach it through Celebrate Douglas as well. Correct. And just click on uh, SPLOS and you'll be able to get to that same page. And as citizens driving throughout the county, make sure you guys look for fire trucks, if you're behind them, you'll see some that will say, paid with by your SPLOS pennies. Those are the ones that this current SPLOS is paid for, as well as seeing signage, seeing of what's coming next, or what's, in, is, is what's out here. Got it, got it. And I think we also have this, these <coughs> projects per district commissions district on their site, if you go on Celebrate Douglas Correct. And, and Correct. find it that way as well. So if you want to get specifically just District 1, 2, and 3, and 4, and so on, you can go and do it that, that way as well. So Correct. Okay. All right. Uh, that's good. No, that's it for me. Um, just, I just want to emphasize on that. Mm -hmm. Just know where your SPLOS dollars are being spent. Mm -hmm. I, and we try to do is, uh, David does a, does a good job of, of 
trying to get out to the uh, into the public. But excellent. Uh, you've got the resources there, and that's and that's another reason the big benefit of the signs. Look for those signs, mm -hmm. uh, and and hopefully you'll start spotting. We will have a lot going. Uh, under construction by the end of the year. Mm -hmm. Certainly by the end of this third splash year, we'll have the two major projects under construction. Mm -hmm. So there'll be a lot going on uh, in all three departments, right. uh, transportation, right. uh, fire, and parks. So visit the visit the projects. We want you to come out and right. see them, see where right. your money's being spent. Now, now yes. on, on the sites, do we have the entire list of projects that we are trying to get to even below the line, or we just only have the, the list of where we are currently with the, with the dollars that we're spending? Do we have below the line? Do we have the entire list? On, on the website, the entire list is on there as far yeah. as breaking, uh, breaking out, basically saying if, there, if there's a budget, it shows that where there might be the original budget okay. that was placed, you know, okay. before the plus even started. Right. And then it has this broken down in categories, but you might not see on there Highway 5 at Concourse Got down it. there at the bottom because mm -hmm. it's below the line, but they have the information broke out. And each time we do our monthly meetings, those uh, schedules mm -hmm. is on there so therefore right. they can go to those schedules and see what projects Got that it. we're talking about that are being so done. So definitely the projects that we're doing are, are currently let and they're, they're, we're doing those projects are there. Anything right. that, that may or may not get above the line or depending upon the dollars and cents, they, they may or may not be there or they just may be there as a project but not with some dollars beside them. Am I correct. Correct. Okay. correct. Okay. Okay. So mm -hmm. we're good. Good. Wow. Well, guys, okay. these are the experts. <laughs> I'm just here trying to uh, set policies that would hopefully work and help those that here in Douglas County enjoy their splashed dollars. Special purpose local option sales tax is what it's all about. I want to say thank you to you guys for, you know, allotting this time to share with the general public about where their splashed dollars is being spent. And thank you as a viewing audience of District Dialogue yes. for hanging out with us and just understanding. If you need additional information, David, where we can go on which site? Uh, they can go to www.2016splos.com and they also could get to it through Celebrate, Celebrate Douglas. Right. Go there and get all the details that you can ever believe of finding yes. mm -hmm. on all the projects and where we are with the projects. And you can also, you know, go to our each district uh, commissioner's site and you can see specifically in each district what's going on. Thank and you also again. our emails oh. are on there as well. Got uh, it. Both, so therefore, there's certain things you have certain questions about. Okay. Whether it's communications, you can contact myself. Or whether if you have anything Good. about splots, you can actually contact the team that can get back to you and say, Good stuff. But this is what's coming up. So therefore, there's always a way of getting information. No matter what your level of getting to the Internet is, there's always a way to reach out, whether it's through your local church or whether it's your spiritual organization. We make mm -hmm. sure we try to send things out to every place so there's always a way for someone there's leaflets flyers there's correct. tons of that's stuff exactly. that's out there the internet correct. is all out there so you guys gotta come up underneath the rock and, and go and get it and, and deal correct. with it mm -hmm. thank you guys again i appreciate you. your time you. and i appreciate you guys uh sharing uh, all the details about the fate four major projects uh that we got going on here in douglas county and thank you for listening and tuning in i'm commissioner mitchell and this has been district dialogue thank you again mm -hmm.